morning, Miramar, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Tamara G. As always, you can check us out on all of our social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at City of Miramar. And with me, we have one of our hardest working commissioners. Uh, as a matter of fact, he is looking very dapper himself. He's going to be telling <laughs> us about the International Art and Fashion Weekend that's coming up, Commissioner Maxwell B. Chambers. So welcome to the show, Commissioner Chambers. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you, and thank yeah, you look, for having me. <laughs> no problem, looking like a supermodel. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I love the fact that, um, you know, this kind of was born out of Art Basel coming to town, coming to Miami, South Florida, bringing all the people uh, to the Wynwood Design District downtown area, but you decided to bring a part of that right here in our city, right here in Miramar. Of course, it, it's, it's an exciting time of the year. I'm always looking forward to December. I know this is our third annual Miramar International Art and Fashion Weekend. And I'm just so excited about the numbers. You know, it's going to be an amazing, amazing weekend right here in Miramar. Right. And so when you say art and fashion, you know, that kind of encompasses a lot. But I know you've had a fashion show. Uh, you've had models to come in and uh, showcasing different types of art as well. So tell us a little bit about what the weekend is going to look like this weekend. So this weekend is going to be two days. We have Saturday and Sunday, and we have different designers for different days. So Saturday, we have a group of designers on model. And then Sunday, we're going to have another group of designers on model. And in addition to that, we also have some, some artists with some different kind of unique art pieces. And we have also a few vendors that do pop-up shop for different uh, jewelry, unique pieces. So um, some art show, you go and you eat, drink, they don't buy anything, but this is the art show where people come and they purchase stuff because of what we bring to the city of Miramar. So um, it's, it's a full full art and fashion weekend. Uh, I know some people put more emphasis on the model, uh, the, the fashion show portion, but you come for the fashion show and then you get the art and all the pop-up shop that goes with it, plus the food. Mm -hmm. and so forth. So it's it's all right here in Miramar, and I'm just so excited for this weekend. And truly, when you say art, Commissioner Chambers, I mean, that encompasses a lot. We just mentioned several different forms of art. We mentioned clothing. We mentioned uh, jewelry pieces. We mentioned actual art, you know, put up on the walls. But all of that means that there is an artist somewhere who is trying to tell their story, and you're allowing them to do that in Miramar this coming Saturday and Sunday. And, and that's right. Uh, we're bringing our local folks to display their art and their um, pieces. And then we bring in international designers and international models. So you're getting it all. We have folks from Africa, folks from Europe, uh, folks from you know New York. Uh, you ha we're going to have it all right here. So when you bring that caliber together, um, just like last year, last year you would think that it was Paris meeting New York right here in Miramar. That's what it looked like to me. And knowing what I'm seeing in Paris and what I'm seeing in New York. So <laughs> you're bringing that type of fashion and art right here in Miramar and that energy. So that's what people should expect for those folks who have never been here at the Art and Fashion Show. Um, this year, I'm excited about the numbers. We are quite high. We over a thousand registration already. Nice. And last year, we were just at 400. So, nice. Um, I'm so really the excited. word is getting out. The word is getting, word is getting out. out. Yes, yes. And so, you know, coming, come up from Miami, come up from Art Basel and uh, join us here, right here in Miramar. It's going to be an evening event each day. It's an evening event. Um, the art gallery opens at four and the fashion show goes off at 6 p.m. Okay. So we give you a little time to walk around, check out the art, eat some food. We have food trucks and so forth. So um, both folks have time to um, eat, see, and then be seated and ready for the fashion show. And the best part about that, this event is free. And what even better, mm -hmm. parking is free. So <laughs> if you go anywhere else, you're paying Sold. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, because if you go anywhere else, and particularly, you know, you're dealing with traffic, you're dealing with wow. parking, uh, having to pay for that, having to get into some of the art galleries that are going on this weekend. But this, inter this art, uh, Fest is going to be amazing, uh, this International Art and Fashion Weekend right here in Miramar at Town Center, no right. lie. 
no doubt. So and, and, and because of the numbers, I'm working on maybe we can get a valley to help for those people who want to valley and just walk right into the show. So um, we're working on that right now to see if we can put that in place to have those folks who want to valley just take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, but but the main part about this um, is that we really want folks to bring a toy, an, a, a new unwrapped toy or a gift card because we have so much less fortunate people in our community that we want to make sure they have a good Christmas. Um, some folks need food. Some folks need gas. So whatever gift card you can bring, whether it's a gas or food, we, we gladly accept it so we can give it back to folks who are not fortunate like us. And we want to make sure we take care of everyone. Um, if you want to bring food, we accept that too. So okay. uh, whatever you can bring, food, toys, we will take it right here. We're going to be prepared to take in that right here so we could give back to our community. And that's why we make it free this year. So folks feel free to come if they don't have it. And if they do have it, they can just bring something so we can give back to the community. Okay, canned goods, free unwrapped toy. Give rice, to whatever it is. Okay, yeah. Rice, perfect. We want to give back. So that's happening this Saturday and Sunday, December 9th and 10th at uh, Miramar Town Center. However, you are, you have a very busy December, Commissioner Chambers. <laughs> you uh, are going to be having breakfast with Santa soon. Of course, of course. Uh, we, we're going to be having breakfast with Santa December 17th at the Miramar Amphitheater. So we're going to be preparing for folks to come. We're going to have tables and chairs, Santa, music. The only thing with this event, it's going to be limited to Miramar resident only okay. uh, on the 17th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. is the breakfast at the Miramar Amphitheater. So that's um, 16801 Miramar Parkway. Uh, so we want Miramar residents to register. Let us know how many children are coming. And for the younger children, we're going to have toys to give them um, from 1 to, I believe it, 10 nice. years old. Okay. So I'm, I'm excited about the breakfast. We have not done that in a while. Mm -hmm. So bringing that back. And one of the things that kind of um, sparked me to do this, I'm looking at parents with their children now they're in high school. And the one thing that they spoke about was how nice it was to go to the breakfast. And that parents reminded me, and I'm like, okay, we got to do the breakfast again. If, <laughs> if this oh. child re remember this when they were little and they know they're in high school, we got to keep doing it. So it was very I'm memorable. Right. Yep, absolutely. Right. Again, that one's just open to Miramar residents. Of course, uh, the art and international, uh, international art and fashion weekend open to the public, but the Breakfast with Santa on December 17th right. is just open to Miramar residents. But the big party is coming up. <laughs> before we even get to the big party. Oh, you have something else? Breakfast, before the breakfast, we have our fifth annual uh, toy drive. Oh, nice. With, with uh, the nonprofit Not Forgotten. So I've been partnering with Not Forgotten for a couple of years uh, to get more toys and a gift for the children. And we did, last year we did a lot of school. We did Miami Dade, we did Broward County. So we decided to go bigger this year. So what we did, we make this a, a family event, a fun day for people to come out and enjoy rides and food and food trucks and so forth. So uh, on the 16th um, from noon, from 12 noon, the 4 p.m. is going to be a fun, fun day. So we encourage people to bring their toy and bring their gifts and enjoy a family fun full day on December 16th. And, and that's that probably going true. It's going to be at the Rimmer Regional Park in the baseball field. Okay. Right. So that's the first one on the 16th. And then we will move to the amphitheater next morning, mm -hmm. 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. for the breakfast. Okay. All right. right. So that, that weekend is done. Now let's get to the party <laughs> weekend because there are lots of folks uh, who are looking for something to do on mm -hmm. New Eve. And the cool thing about this, uh, Commissioner Chambers, is that you have made it accessible for families to have right. a good New right. Year's Eve. Right. So a New Year's Eve day, December 31st, mm -hmm. we are going to have the second annual pre-ball drop for our children. And that one will start at 12 noon to 5 p.m. So it's going to be another full, fun full day for the children and family to come on out, enjoy a day of activity, music, food, rides, bouncy houses, you name it. Character is going to be there just like last year. 
And um, last year we kicked it off and it was a great number of turnovers, was over 3,000. So I'm sure the number is going to go up this year. So we're going to have that and the children are going to celebrate their new year uh, Eve at five o'clock. We, okay. We're going to have confetti, all of the good stuff going to go off for the children. And uh, it's, it's an amazing event last year. And I'm just so looking forward to that again this year. And we're going to take a break that afternoon, that's evening. And then we're going to come back again with a nighttime portion of New Year's Eve celebration. <laughs> for the grown folks. <laughs> the grown folks. <laughs> and um, for the nighttime portion, children under 16, 16 and under is free. Oh, nice. Right. Okay. Children under 16 and under is free. So we don't want parents to feel like, you know, get left out if someone need to bring uh, their children 16 and younger, they feel free to do so. Uh, and, you know, over 16 will be a big cost. So okay. this event is a big event. Um, we have performed live performance. Our headliner is Luciana, the, the, okay. the messenger. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of you familiar with Luciana, he's going to be the big headliner at this event. Um, the messenger, great regular artist. And he's just somebody who are uh, just amazing. And he appealed to any crowd, any group. And we also have uh, a Spanish band that are going to perform, but local band right here, right okay. here in Miramar. And we have an all-girl band. I'm excited about this young all-girl band. Mm -hmm. So they are amazing performer. And um, looking forward to Miss Altia Hewitt, a uh, nice young lady performing both reggae and pop music. She's a great crossover artist. So I'm, I'm so excited. And not to mention, we're going to bring the art again. Uh, the world-renowned Mr. Andy Ballantyne, he's a great painter, going to be doing a live painting right there in the middle of the New Year's Eve concert. So some lucky winner will get some paintings uh, that night, whatever he decides to give away. Mm -hmm. We don't know, but uh, he's someone who sometimes tries to uh, give away a painting or two uh, when he's doing his live painting. So. We hope you do something for us. Well, you've got stuff planned for the entire month of December for people who didn't have anything on their social calendar. <laughs> uh, it starts this weekend, of course, mm -hmm. December 9th and 10th with the International Art and Fashion Weekend with Commissioner Maxwell B. Chambers. The 16th, going to be at the Miramar Regional Park uh, for the big toy giveaway um, and, and taking toys and, and giving toys on the 16th. Coming back on the 17th, the very next morning, uh, that is going to be Breakfast with Santa. That is just for Miramar residents. And Correct. Then New Year's Eve, starting at 1 o'clock, 1 to 5, for the kiddos at Miramar Regional Park, open to all. Um, and then coming back at 8 o'clock, 16 and under, you can come for free. If you're 16 and over, you got to pay. But, man, what a great, I mean, Luciano performing, what a great it, it, That's big. Yeah. General. I was going to say just him being the headliner, but all of the other great acts too. So it's a night of entertainment. Uh, there are going to be food trucks there. I mean, it's this is going to be a very safe environment for people to come to on New Year's Eve. Very, very safe. This is second year. You know, we have a fire department be there, a police department will be there. So we, you know, it's a pretty secure and safe environment. And this year we have in fireworks. Last year we didn't. This year we're going to have fireworks. Okay. Also, so it's going to be exciting, exciting time in Miramar in December. And in addition to all the tree lighting that we have around the city, it's it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I do have one last surprise because I do not want to leave out my historic Miramar. So okay. we're going to have a historic Miramar pop and shop uh, December 23rd in the street. We're going to have a lot of shopping, we're going to have food, we're going to have a special discount. So I'm going to invite a lot of vendors to come out and just display their work and art. Um, whatever it is, people are going to have last minute shopping. The kids are going to have fun. So this is going to be in street style. We're going to be in the street. We're going to be closing down the street. We're going to have all the good stuff there and all day long from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. at night. So I'm looking forward to that one, too. So <laughs> Well, it's <laughs> right here in Miramar. It's and right here in Miramar. That's you right. Know, and to register we, we cater for to everyone here in the city of Miramar. And to register for any of these events, please go to miramarfl.gov. It's right there on the homepage. You'll see the flyers. You click on them. You can go to Eventbrite and sign up. 
Um, but please do that so that we kind of know the numbers for these great events that Commissioner Chambers is uh, behind and that he is moving through the city. So thank you very much, Commissioner Maxwell B. Chambers. Uh, take your vitamins. You're going to need them for this month. <laughs> well, I, I just want to thank my viewers for in advance for the bring us food and gifts so we can give back. And if they need to reach me, uh, my number is 954-602-3157. The more gifts you can give us, the more food you can give us, the more gift card is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Tamadri. No problem. Thank you, Commissioner Maxwell B. Chambers. And thank you for watching Good Morning Miramar. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Tamara G. As always, you can find out everything we are on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at City of Miramar. And with me today, we have one of our neighbors to the South. We love our neighbors. And they are doing something very special during this week as well because, you know, Art Basel, it doesn't just stay downtown Miami. It actually comes up. And with us, we have Opelika Commissioner Veronica Williams. She is an official spokesperson for Art of Transformation which is happening with you guys during this week. So good morning, or uh, yes, good morning to you. How are you doing, <laughs> Commissioner Williams? Good morning. I am so sorry, Tamara. My announcement just came on at work. So I'm going to, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know if it gets out, if you can't hear me, then um, okay. I will definitely pause. Um, but I'm doing great. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having me on. I truly appreciate being here, um, especially, you know, neighboring uh, Black cities. So um, anytime I can be on or just, you know, participating, I'm I'm excited. So hello, Miramar. <laughs> well, we're so happy to have you, Commissioner Williams. And you guys have something very special going on, uh, which has been going on for three years now. Uh, this 2023 theme, Africa Global, but it's really the art of transformation in Opalaka. Give us a little bit of background on that. So, yes, Tamara, this is the third year. It's really transforming. Um, when we talk about Art Basel, um, bringing it not just from the ritzy, glitzy areas of downtown, um, but just really in our neighborhoods. And this year, 10 North Group is doing Art of Transformation, which is Africa Global. Mm -hmm. And um, it's held during this Miami Art Week um, here. And, and the, the goal is, is just, just to really illuminate the African diaspora, the communities of the African diaspora, and to really talk about the history and all of our experiences um, through all the beautiful, wonderful exhibitions that you'll see. We have, there's panel discussions and performances. So we're so excited. And as we were talking about in the city of Miramar, we have our very own um, art and international fashion weekend that's going on. But Opalaka, you guys have this as well. Uh, it just goes to show you that art encompasses all different types. It's not just something you put on the wall. It could be anything from music to um, makeup, fashion, it just everything is involved. Exactly, Tamara. That you know, what we've decided here a lot, uh, uh, about three, four years ago is we did not want to look like Midtown. We wanted to be a cultural hub for our community. Um, and it's always easy to, to, you know, to imitate something that's already there. Midtown is great, murals, everything. But we want to be a cultural arts hub for Miami, for again, our neighboring black cities. And because we have the largest um, uh, Moorish architecture, we're the best place to have this. <laughs> wow, and so all this is going on uh, this week, as but it continues. How can people get more information about uh, some of these events? And the really cool thing is they're free events too, which is free as always for me, Commissioner Williams. <laughs> You're so correct. Listen, free, bring the kids, bring the family. It's always great to begin that art exploration at the youngest age as possible. Um, if you visit 10northgroup.com, 10northgroup.com, you will see a listing of everything that all of the plans and everything that's happening. 
Um, there's we kick off actually tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay. at 6 p.m. Um, and it goes all the way to the end of the week to Sunday. Um, come out, see what's going on. Um, let's look at that that uh the 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 plans. Let's let's bridge our economy. Let's look look up at the um cultural exchange and the exploration that we want to make sure um happens in our community. And I love the fact too that you know Opalaka has not shied away from this, Commissioner Williams. You know everybody knows that it's it. You guys are in a renaissance. You are rebuilding. Uh, people are moving there left and right. When I first moved to South Florida, I mean, I thought Opelok, first of all, beautiful city, like you said, the Moorish buildings, all of that, but a great location. Like you can get to anywhere within 15 to 20 minutes. So that in itself is a reason for people to move into the city. Listen, we are, we sit in the best place possible. And, and listen, I'm not going to just say Opelok, but Opelok, Miramar, Miami Gardens, we all, but Opelok really is that key, that hub right in the middle of all of the, you know, major expressways. Um, if you recall, we had um, Arabian Nights years ago. That's, everyone remembers that. I started a campaign called I Am Opelok, because truthfully, we all have a little bit of Opelaka imparted in us. If you've grown up in, in Miami, then you have some impact of Opelaka and, and all of the communities. So that's why we're so, this is going, to, this is just the start camera and this will go 10 years from now when we're talking to our grandkids and the little kids from Opelaka and all the neighboring communities. This is going to be huge and we're going to say, wow, 10 North Group and City of Opelaka did this. And so is 10 spelled out 10 North Group or is it just one zero? 10 North Group. 10 T E N North Group.com. 10 North Group.com for a listing of all of the events that are going on this week and even more so uh, during Art Basel Week, uh, Art Week here in South Florida and in the city of Opalaka where it's going on. We have to thank Commissioner Williams uh, for Veronica Williams for joining us. We know that uh, it is very busy, uh, particularly there at Miami Northwestern Senior High School. <laughs> I see y'all got a lot going on, you bulls. <laughs> so, uh, yes, thank you so much for joining us. I know as a vice principal, you've got to get back to your job. But thank you so much for taking the time to talk about everything that's going on, the art of transformation in Opalaka, particularly during this week. Again, 10 North Group. T-E-N, 10northgroup.com for a listing of all the uh, events that are going on. And, and listen, as Commissioner Williams said, they are free events. These are your tax dollars at work. Please go and support and, and learn something new. Do something different that you would never do before or have never done. Uh, I think you would enjoy it. So thank you so very much. We appreciate it. Uh, Commissioner Veronica Williams from the great city of Opalaka and the Art of Transformation. Thank you so much. The city of bright opportunities. Yes, ma'am. Well, That's, like that. That's our new I, slogan. That's our new slogan. I love that tagline. All right. Yes. Well, thank you so much thank for Thank you joining so much us. for having me. And again, shout out uh, Mr. Willie Logan, the entire board for 10 North Group, 10 North Group, um, everyone, and Opalaka. Thank you so much for having me anytime. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Good Morning Miramar. Until next time, I'm your host, Tamara G. See you.